important thing I think to mention as well is the recent government um, mental health strategy that was uh, published last month, I think it was. Um, so it's the updated version of a vision for change. Um, it's called sharing the vision. If anybody hasn't had a look yet, just I just Google that. You'll get that online. Sharing the vision, and this is the government's ten-year mental health strategy. And what's really, really interesting about it is that they focus on um, early intervention as key. So it's actually it's been recognised. This is a really big thing for the government to to put on paper that it's recognised that early intervention is key, that mental health support is should be systemic, and um, it should be uh, it should start early at home and within the community. And, and really, that's the, that's the skill level we're talking about here on these programs. We're, we're looking at how to support within the early childhood, uh, the family unit, and within, like we know, addiction recovery and a lot of addiction support is community-based. So if the government are able to put their money where their mouth is in terms of this strategy, we can expect a lot of investment in early intervention. And we see a lot of uh, change in relation to, well, not change yet, but a lot of talk in relation to um, schools and the need for counsellors in schools. And, uh, you know, even even as, as recent as yesterday, the IECP had a really, really successful meeting with, um, you know, the... Um, uh, sorry, body for looking at uh, introducing um, counsellors into the school setting. And there's a real open mind, well, not a, maybe not open mindedness, that's a bit of a reach, but um, they're starting to explore and recognise the need there. So with the vision for change in mind or sharing the vision strategy in mind, I think these master's programmes are really well placed and, and worth considering.